The ride-sharing services, Uber and Lyft, are under attack by PUC enforcers. These cabs have something the ride-sharing services don't. Lacking it, says the enforcers, is a recipe for disaster. Passengers connect with Lyft and Uber drivers using smartphone apps. What the services and drivers lack is certification and licensing of Pennsylvania's Public Utility Commission. This PUC enforcement manager, Charles Bowser, testified that's a recipe for disaster, posing a potential threat to public safety. Yellow Cab isn't a party to this case, but agrees with the PUC. Operating without vetting the drivers, inspecting the vehicles, and maintaining insurance, that dangerous. Fernando Long is an Uber driver. He says the services vet the drivers themselves and disputes PUC enforcer claims they're an accident waiting to happen. Absolutely not. No, if anything, I would go so far as to say that we're probably, not to be arrogant, but probably a little bit better than the average driver, seeing that we've already had a background check for a criminal record as well as a driving record. Uber and Lyft attorneys argue there's no clear and present danger and that the companies and drivers are innocent until proven guilty and warned against overzealous enforcement while they await PUC approval. Lyft tells us it's, quote, strict safety criteria go above and beyond what is required for taxis and limos in nearly every jurisdiction in the country. Uber tells us, quote, the overwhelming demand for Uber from riders and drivers is a clear indication of the value of safe and convenient transportation options. The PUC ruling on Uber and Lyft will come early next month. Meanwhile, Yellow Cab is planning to launch its own ride sharing service, but waiting for the blessing of the PUC. Downtown Bob Mayo, Pittsburgh's Action News 4. And tonight, we want your take on the ride share row. On our website, we asked, do you think ride-sharing companies should be shut down for not operating under state regulations? 73% of you say no, 27% say yes. You can still cast your vote on our homepage at WTAE.com.